This is an overview of the random image widget for Elementor. Each time you refresh the page, I'm going to click on this button and it will refresh the page. The images that you see are going to be taken of a predefined sequence of images and show a different image each time. Without no more further ado, let's jump in and get started. To get started, you're going to want to make sure you have Unlimited Elements Pro version installed and activated on your WordPress website. Inside of the widgets library, I'm going to search for the word random, and that will filter out all the widgets that answer that query. Here's the random image widget. I'm going to hover over it and click install to it install on my Elementor site builder. Jump inside of Elementor, and again, I'm going to search for the word random and it found the widget. I'm going to drag the widget inside of the canvas and we can see a image over here. This image is going to be random. What that means is that you can upload a predefined sequence of images and each time the page is loaded, refreshed, or a new visitor visits the page, it's going to show a random image from a predefined list. The list is over here inside of items. So I'm just gonna open that up so you can see what we have over here. Each item has an option to add a title, and later on I'm going to show you how you can show that title if you want to. You can upload an image, you can enable a link, so for example you can use this for banners if you want each image to go redirect to a different URL, and we have image position, which is relevant only if you change the ratio of the image proportion. Right now, that won't work because it's showing the full image. Awesome. So we have all the items. If we want to add a new item, we just click Add Item, give that a title, and select or upload an image from our media library. I'm just going to use this image. And as you can see, each time I make a change in the widget, it's refreshing and showing a random image. Inside of the general options, if we want to see all the images, I'm just going to turn debug mode on. And now you can see that it's showing all of the images, just so you can use this inside of the editor and see what images you've uploaded and how they look with your current style settings. So let's turn back debug mode off and let's see the show title. So we can show the title before the image or it can show after the image. So if you want to add sort of a caption, you can do that as well. Inside of the style, we can change the width. Right now it's taking 100% of the column, which is awesome, but if you want, you can also change that. You can use percent or pixels, and we can change the height. Right now the height is determined by the width, meaning they're connected together. But if you want, you can choose a fixed height, and now I can use this toggle to make the height a different height. And as you can see, the image fit is cover, so it will always cover the whole part of the image that we want to by the size that we determined. Right now, it is relevant if you want to change the image position in each image. If you know that a different part of the image is the important part, you can change the background position of that image. We can add a border. We can add some radius if we want to, to make our image rounded. So image radius, I'm going to just show that. We can add some shadow if we want to. And of course, everything is editable and you can change it. You can also change the title if you want to, typography, padding, whatever you need to make the perfect layout. Let's check out a preview of this and wrap this tutorial up. So I'm going to save the page, preview the page, and now you can see I'm seeing image number four. And when I refresh the page or a new visitor access this exact URL, he's going to see a different image each time. So that's about it. I want to thank you guys for joining, and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.